Hi, and welcome to the club. So what the heck is this about? What's the deal? Allow me to explain. It is about NVIDIA's big time F up. Massive lags and stuttering wherever you look. So to the situations. RTX cards before 5000 series are performance skimmed due to the new DLSS transformer model. NVIDIA drivers can cause massive instabilities like never before. DLSS 4 causes latency issues and stuttering. G-Sync causes lags and stuttering. Frame generation does not work smooth like before and intended. NVIDIA's shitty MVP app is not working. Settings in games are not working most of the time. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your stutter, lags and performance. By the way, links and uh, file paths for everything you need are down below in the description. No, it's not yours or your system's fault. And you're also not alone. You know, I'm a NVIDIA customer for 25 years now. I bought my GeForce 2 GTS back then in the year 2000 and never, never ever before did I experience such a massive fuck up from NVIDIA. Not only do the DLSS 4 versions gimp your RTX 4000 and earlier series graphic cards performance due to the new transformer model. If it just was only that. No. They also cause massive stutter and unbearable frame time issues while using frame generation, making playing games unenjoyable. Now, some people report that the latest drivers are causing lag and stutters and whatnot. That's actually wrong. Total BS. It's the recent DLSS and DLSS frame generation versions. I investigated and tested several games. And in this video, I will give you three games as example. All versions after 3.8.10 are causing stuttering and massive lag in the test environment. Now, makes you wonder why only this year's versions? Interesting. Interesting. Now, even developers discourage people from using new drivers for RTX 3000 and 4000 series. For RTX 5000 series, they recommend the latest drivers. Interesting. Speaking of the devs from an example, Insoy and the first Berserker, Kassan. No? Yeah, and next I will demonstrate uh, some issues regarding the DLSS versions in the following games, which are Assassin's Creed Shadows, Rise of the Ronin and Ghost of Tsushima. I will show issues regarding switching DLSS and FSR settings in a couple of games, an example and so on. Let's have a look. Man, the new NVIDIA drivers and DLS versions are so good, it's truly a marvel they even exist. They can double your frame times and split your FPS in half at the same time, only in just an instant, so fast, it's really like such a marvel. The more you buy, the more you save. Damn. Also, the frame times seem to be completely off despite 120 FPS or more while using later than 3.8.10 DLSS versions. While testing, I experienced massive lags and unbearable stuttering in all three games despite more than 120 FPS and more than enough horsepower. For the relevant test system specifications, please have a look in the descriptions. And next up, a short reminder, I guess most of you know, but maybe not. So first, please make sure that your CPU and overall system is actually stable and stress tested if you never did so before. Do it for one hour at least, full time, one hour stress test, permanent. Okay, what do we need? The tools and stuff you will need to fix are the following. You will need the NVIDIA driver version 566.36 or 572.83. You also need the display driver Anasola, short DDU, and the application DLS Swapper. Next up is what we're going to do. We will uninstall our graphics driver with the DDU. Afterwards, we will install the driver or a, the, 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 one of the drivers. Afterwards, we clear some cache. And then in the end, we will swap DLS versions. Step A, use the display driver uninstaller to uninstall your driver and restart. Simply use the default settings. It will automatically restart. So, Step B, we will install the new NVIDIA driver. I recommend either 533.36 or 572.83. While investigating and testing, both drivers equally showed the same behavior. Therefore, I recommend those drivers. I use them both. Step C, clearing the cache. So at first, in general, please know, you need to make sure that the shader cache and DirectX cache is okay. This means 
that every time you install another driver, update your driver, whatever, or if you install an update to your game, you need to actually delete the old cache files for making sure everything will be 100% stutter free. Therefore, step one, go to the NVIDIA control panel and disable the shader cache, then restart your PC. Step two, go to the folders mentioned on screen and in, or in the description and delete the files inside all of them. Step three, Open up the disk cleanup tool and select system disk, usually drive C, and select only DirectX shader cache files inside and then clean. Step four, you restart the PC, then go to NVIDIA control panel and enable shader cache again. I always set it to unlimited as I have enough space on my drives. Step five, done. Yoohoo! Now to part D, the actual DLS version swapping. Therefore, we use our DLSS swapper. You simply install the program, run it, and I will now show you how it's done. So at first, some information. During the testing phase, every DLS version upwards 3.8.10, meaning DLSS and DLSS frame generation should must have lack an abnormal stutter behavior. Therefore, I recommend switching all settings to 3.8.10. And here have a look. So this is how you do it. And done. You should now have fixed the unbearable legs and stutter you were experiencing despite 120 or 200 plus FPS. Now enjoy playing whatever game 99% stutter free to your liking. Of course, I hope you liked the video and um, I could help you. If that is the case, please do me the favor and leave a like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Until next time, see ya. Ultimate Game Club, peace out.